how are you doing? Thanks for joining us again. Uh, welcome to the Mandry Field Metal Detected UK channel. Uh, today it's a bit windy, as you can probably hear. Uh, got my dad with me. Hello, Dad. Morning. <laughs> uh, we've got uh, loads of arrow fields today, so uh, we've never been here before. So we're just going to do a general wander and see what we can find. Hopefully, see it the first. Well, that was unexpected. As you can see, it was just below the surface. That looks like a little Roman to me. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a bit bit worn, but that's a good sign. Uh, we'll um, carry on in this area, shall we, and see if we can find any more. Oh, <laughs> what a start. Scratchy 52, and straight away, second signal, little Roman fibula. Now that, and now the coin, uh, that is unexpected. So we're going to stick around this area because obviously there's something, something's going on around here. But tiny little fibula, missing the pin. But that's a Roman. What do you reckon? Second, third century maybe. Happy days, guys. <laughs> Ladies and gents, I think we're going to stick this area out for a little bit longer. In again. Ah, cheers, mate. Another. Romans, it's very worn again. Oh, I could just about make out is that Mars or Venus standing left. Brilliant. Okay, we'll keep going. We're finding small bits of lead and the odd bit of hot rock as well, so we know there's something going on here. That's a very good start, considering we've only been here 20 minutes. Fantastic. Okay, I think someone's having a joke. Seriously, this is my fourth signal. What? Is that really going to be what I think it's going to be? I cannot believe it if it is. This is a joke. Someone's playing a joke on us, honestly. I've never had a detecting day that starts off like this. Let's give it a wipe. Yeah, it is. Oh my word. I can't work out who that is. Oh, it looks like Elizabeth. I see Reg. This is ridiculous. I've had, is it two Romans now? Two or three Romans? A fibula. And then this. This is an amazing start. Wow. It's very worn. Not going to get much off of that, I'm afraid. So have a look. Any dates? Mm, 1580 is that at the top? Can you just see it? Fantastic. What a start. Brilliant. I <laughs> can't believe it. Seriously guys, I'm not making this up. We have just walked on this field. We're about 25 minutes into the dig. Uh, we've probably walked no more than about 20, 30 meters from the car. It's unbelievable. What a start. Oh, I've got to keep going. Fantastic. What a start. I, I've never, this, I mean, people say, oh, you planted, you faked it. I've never been on a field like this before. But that's just said, he's found a Roman now. Let's go see what he's found, shall we? See you in a sec. Hey, yep, here it is then. So we get you in the sun. Uh, probably the better one so far, best one. I'm not sure who that is, but I think I found one then before, and I think it's Constantine. So they'll put it around about 330, something like that, I think. 330 AD. This is fantastic. Never had a dig like this. But honestly, we're like 25, 30 minutes in. Wow. Let's keep going, shall we? Here we go, let's try another one. That's telling me it's on the surface. This is a 60. I can't see nothing. Up in there. Let's have a look. Okay, we're in here. So we look. Yes. Found another. Yeah, let me get that cleaned up. One sec, guys. It's very sticky mud. I have got gloves, but I thought I'd just take it off. Uh, take them off just for this uh, this clip. Let me uh, get that cleaned up and back to you in one sec. Well, that is a beauty. It's the clearest one we've found so far. Uh, I'm not quite sure on this one. I don't know if you guys can make anything out from that. I don't want to get too close. It'll go blurry. But there you go. What do you make of that? That's another one. Woohoo! Happy days. Hey up. 
absolutely battered. It's George Fifth Penny. I think that's the worst condition one I've ever found. Battered. Um, so yeah, it's been about 20 minutes since our last signal. So um, perhaps we found a little spit. I don't know what we found there, but um, what a great start to that field. Unfortunately, it just went really quiet on us. So um, I think we'll revisit that part of the field when it gets ploughed up. But for now, we're just uh, having a general wander, seeing what else we can find. Dean, he's only gonna find Ahmed. Oh, that's a beauty. That looks like a groat. Oh, wow. Oh my word. Wow. That's a short cross for sure. Wow, that's, that is beauty, that is. That's uh, it's a short cross, so what is that? Um, is that uh, Henry, Richard or John? Wow, does anybody know who that is? That is an absolute stonker. It's not even, well, shape part of damage, it's not even clipped. What a beauty, that is very, very, very old. Uh, around about, was it 1100? 1100 to 1200? Wow, we've only just stepped onto this new field. Wow, that is fantastic. We are having, we are rocking on. Let's hope the day continues like this. This is amazing. <laughs> well done, man. <laughs> well done. Thank you. Smile. <laughs> right, mystery object. Looks like it's got something on the side there. Looks like it might be part of an old toy or something. Hmm. And it's on a postcard. Next up is a pot mend. So likely to be Roman given what we've been finding in the area, but uh, these were used up until the 1700s I think. So, but yeah, that's a, a lead pot mend. Giveaway is this bit here. I'm gonna force it in to repair the hole in the pot. Cool. Or just pop this plug. We've both had a look at it. That's how it came out. So we've not touched it yet, but yeah. Let's have a look. It's looking like another Roman. It's looking like, yeah, it's got to be. But that's going to need a bit of a clean. Give me a sec, guys. It looks a bit toasted, but I don't want to. Don't rub any more of that patina off. So I'm going to be really gentle. Give me a sec. Uh, here he is. I don't know if you can see in this light, but that's Magnentius facing right, which dates about 350. I think he was one of the usurpers. If you look on the back, you could just about make out. I think it's the Christianity symbol with the cross and the uh, the letter P. So I know this quint. Weirdly, I found three of these in the past six months. So I think Magnentius likes me. Um, so yeah, uh, I believe that dates to 350 AD. So it looks like uh, it's gone quiet, but we're heading kind of back to where we started. And uh, we've got a theory, there might be a track coming through one of the fields. And uh, this lends towards our theory. Right, hopefully there was some more. Catch you later. Oh, this one, uh, I managed to clean up already, but that's just popped up. So yeah, a bit toasted that one. Again, nearly 2,000 year old history. And we're on it. We are on it. We've just got to figure out what's going on and in wh which direction is this going. But yeah, we think we might have found a track, but not sure yet. We'll just keep going and hope our luck still stays with us. No! Again, it's got to be. It's got to be. Yeah. <laughs> hmm. Is that a no, it's a long cross. Wow. I found one of these the other day. Not not found a cut quarter for about two years. And two come along in about three digs. I'll tell you what, can't beat the Deus for these little this small silver. That is amazing. It's got some depth on it as well. It was about three inches, four inches down. Which you think, oh that's not very deep, but when you when you find a thin silver like this at that size, that's that's not bad. I'll take that. Wow, we're doing well today. We are doing well, loving it, really enjoying ourselves today. Yeah, yeah, that's another Roman pot mend, definitely. A bit different, but yeah, that's a Roman pot mend. We're still in the right area. Let's keep going. Alright guys, a bit shallow this one. I'm not sure what that is. That's why I thought I'll get it on camera in case it's something good. It looks silver. But is it? Let's have a look. Or is it just going to be junk? Oh, no, hold on, we're still going. Looks silver. Let's have a look. 
Holy smokes. That's a silver unit. Hey! That's crazy. Let me just clean it up. Give me a sec. That is amazing. Hold on. Wow. I'm going to say it. Get in. That is amazing. Blank on that side, but wow. I don't know what tribe that is at the moment. Maybe the Corvialetti tribe, whatever you call them. But that is amazing. What do you reckon? Uh, 50 BC, something like that. Oh, that is amazing. And I joked earlier. I was actually joking about finding a Celtic. Well, it was a gold stater to be fair, but I'll settle for this any day. That is amazing. That is amazing. I have found a broken one before, but that's the first really decent complete one. Absolutely amazing. So that is an Iron Age Celtic silver unit. And that's a prancing horse, I believe. And I'm pretty sure that's Corvilletti tribe. That is amazing. They don't pop up very often. Oh, this day is oh, just, oh, what can I say? I am over the moon. The lads just joined me and look, grey wear all day. So let's keep going, shall we? You're not going to believe this. <laughs> I gave the detector to my lad. I showed him a line to take that looks like it might reveal some Romans, and he's only gone and found his first helmet of 2020. He's only 11, bless him. It needs a bit of. Uh, it looks like it will clean up very nicely. It's a bit tarnished, so. But yeah, he's just literally found his first long cross. Looks like Edward, the, oh, an Edwardian. Jammy. <laughs> well done mate that is awesome uh, came up on the was it 70s was it 60s or 70s yeah. what, what, what was it 60 or 70s what was it 60s 60s, 60s. 60s on the uh, we're using Gary's hot program although I've tweaked it I've knocked it down to 16 kilohertz but well done mate <laughs> that is the fourth hammered today that is amazing get in <laughs> brilliant what a great day this has turned out to be Move on to this uh, recently ploughed arable. Just found this. Looks like silver. But what's in the middle of it? Uh, okay, that's interesting. Let's give it a clean. Be right back. Uh, silly me. It's, a, it's only a wash, isn't it? Well, it looks like it was a, a silver case. With a gilt dial. Oh, that's a shame. Still, it's a bit of silver again. Nice buckle just turned up. A Victorian, I reckon. Still, it's a find. Yeah, my dad's found this. Looks like it's uh, an old token. It's got a nice swan on it, made of lead. It's really nice, that is. Yeah, I like that. Next up, little pistol ball. Hmm. So, what's that? Two to three hundred years old. Nice find. Just up. Lovely little buckle. Yeah, very nice. Probably late Tudor, into the 1600s, something like that. Yeah, very nice. Get some wax on that when I get back, it shot the detail. Well, isn't a Roman. Would have been a nice one. Well, would have been a nice one, of course it would have been. Uh, it's totally battered now. And so it's got a hole through it as well. So, not sure what that's all about. I know they used to nail coins to the doors of temples. Roman temples, but uh, yeah, I don't know. Who knows? Oh well, would have been a big one as well. So yeah, um, I can say it's been two hours since our previous signal. Two hours. But uh, hey, that's how it goes. Let's keep going, shall we? We've got about an hour left now. Ah, here comes another one. Oh, uh, yep. Uh, just dropped it. Can you see it? Ah, there it is. Uh, so we decided to come back to this very first bit of hot spot that we've got for the last hour. Thought we'd just give it a go. And uh, yeah, it's paid off. Well, unfortunately, it's broken. But yeah. Looks like the copper's coming through on that one, so maybe that's a British imitation. Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Hopefully, we can find a few more before the sun sets. Well, it's not all sexy, you know. Look at this bad boy. <laughs> Cattle tag. So yeah, uh, we have, I've not really showed it on video, but we have found the odd bit of uh, aluminium, which has been playing up a little bit with our signals and whatever, but um, shotgun shells, aluminium, buttons, 
and just random junk. But patience is paying off with us today. So we're just finishing off in this uh, so-called hot spot. Hopefully we can find a few more Roman coins before we uh, head on home. Anyway, 997, you've gone AWOL. Okay, yeah, that's just popped out. That's gonna be a beaut that is by the looks of it. Show about this light. Oh, I know. Oh yeah, look, that's that Roma facing left. Um, some of those like Constantine. Some of the light at the end. Well, it's Constantine Memorial uh, commemorative coins. I'm not gonna rub it too much. We'll leave it at that for now. The light's getting low. It's cool though. Boy, this was well unexpected. Look. Diddy. Edward. So that'd be like 1903, something like that. Little half penny. We we'll take that though. On to the next. Look what's just popped up. I'm pretty certain that's a hammered coin. And it's thin. Yeah, I can see a long cross with some pellets. Very sticky here. Oh wow, that's uh, that's battered. I think that's an Edward because I could just about see crown on top of his head. But yeah, that's second full hammered for me, plus the cut quarter. My son found a hammered and my dad's found a hammered. That is an epic day on the hammers. Wow. Ha <laughs> ha what a day. It has got really slow towards the end of the day. We had, a, we had a, an absolute brilliant uh, lucky streak uh, the first half of the day, but this afternoon has been really slow. But that, that's a welcome, that's a welcome surprise. So happy with that. Yeah, brilliant. So it's uh, it's about half four now, so we've got about half hour. We might do some detecting in the dark. We'll see how we go. He's up there, he's up there. It's been a while, but look. That'll do. Look what he's just found. Anybody know what that is? I think you might. That's an Iron Age Latin brooch. So that's two Iron Age items we found today. That's a beauty as well. And it's just stabbed me. So uh, <laughs> it's done well. That's, uh, so that uh, dates to around about 50 BC to 50 AD. So well done, mate. <laughs> <laughs>